<laughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> we are back with the young ones and this is season one, episode three. And it's called Boring, which is not what these are. These are not boring, they're the complete opposite of boring. Maybe too far away from boring, but that's fine. I missed Rick and maybe a little bit of the others, but Rick mostly. He makes me laugh a lot. So I'm very excited to watch this today. If you have watched The Young Ones before, or if you are watching them new with me just now, then you have to like and subscribe because you are now part, we are now part of the Cool Kids Club. And there's also an even cooler kids club over on Patreon if you want to check that out, but you have to be cool Er, You have to be cooler. So go try, see what happens. And I'm just gonna press play because I'm ready to watch them right, right now. And play. Shouldn't be afraid. He sounds like Stewie from Family Guy. Oh, I got the seven of spades. You got it. Is that a carrot and cheese? They don't go together. Uh, HD. Was this all in his mind? Morning has broken. <laughs> Any minute. All you gotta do is match up six pictures of famous noses with six pictures of famous bogeys. Yeah. <laughs> that would be interesting. What's happening to us? We never used to be like this. I think you've always been like that. Yes, we did. <laughs> Nothing ever changes. Nothing ever happens to us. Monopoly? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Monopoly. Smash Rick <laughs> over the head with the bank. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it says. In Byro, Mike! In Byro! <laughs> I was bored! Neil got so bored he's gone down to the garden to kill himself. Yeah, I wondered where he went. He's gonna bury himself alive. I don't think I'm gonna kill myself today, actually, but just in case, you know. Just in case. Rolling Stones are making a new album while two hippopotamus make love underneath the piano. <laughs> King is bored shitless, and so am I. Nice. What I want is to meet someone mind-numbingly boring. I think you're a way to. Oh, I thought he was gonna dig down into there. Never mind. Oh, it's that guy again. <laughs> I'm thirsty. It's in the cupboard. I want someone to pull the stars off, he said. Oh no, not the goldfish. <laughs> oh, God. There's no need to write in. They never read the letters anyway. <laughs> they never read the letters anyway. That was disgusting. It looked like a haggis in there. What's that one now? What's that one now? Come on. He is completely mad. Why don't you just go away? Got a message for you. I thought you got the note. Oh no, it's all right. They're on the other side. That's okay, right? They're... <laughs> Just wait for us, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let Billy near the goldfish bowl. Oh, oh dear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is this? I want to have a sandwich up to earn for the name like Orgo. Well, at least you're in with a chance. No one ever says my name. What's your name? Footumch. Why couldn't I be called William? What's your name? Footage. Ah! Bloody hell. <laughs> Bloody hell. Bloody hell. <laughs> no room for me on the sofa as usual. <laughs> I have to sit on the rickety chair. <laughs> we were watching Bastard Squad. Oh well, get up out of the sofa and go and turn it over if you want. <laughs> oh, um... Look at them squashed on the tiny sofa. <laughs> Lie across on their legs. We interrupt tonight's schedule for a to bring you up to the minute coverage of a siege which is now underway in North London. Ooh. The man believed to be a lunatic foreign terrorist is now taking refuge in an insanitary slum dwelling in North London. Oh, well, that's that's their house. Boring. Now we get a shot of a street for the next four hours. That's your house. The police and the army are moving in. They're dubbing that sound on. That's never real. Uh, guys. <laughs> 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 Is anybody watching this? <laughs> you should be. <laughs> Neil, that's our tea! You've just blown up our tea! <laughs> 15 pence, come on, pay up now, 15 pence. But I haven't collected this week's money yet. But <laughs> that's hardly the point, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it blew up, right? 
There's still some on the wall. Maybe we could save some. some together for Is that all he makes? Lentil like casserole? <laughs> could you ever laugh at Cripple? No. I don't think so. <laughs> I forgot about them. Why is it about cheese? Yeah, do you guys have any money for the pub? What a random bunch. Three and money. Both? What if you just want one? <laughs> do any of you lot know Summer Holiday by Cliff Richard? You am it. I'll smash your face in. I'll go sit over there. <laughs> We're all going on a summer holiday. Oh, you're just going to be bored in a new place. Coffee, please, Vivian. This is a pub. They don't do coffee. Oh, in that case, I don't particularly want anything, thank you. I don't think it's very clever or smart to drink, actually. I want to stay in control. <laughs> I want to stay in control. <laughs> Hello, Vivian. Oh. Oh. Who's that? Hello, Mum. Oh, Mum. <laughs> I didn't know you lived in London. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vivian, I do wish you wouldn't ask me. You know, I've absolutely no idea who he is. <laughs> Makes sense. You never told us your mother was a bartender. Well, she was a shoplifter when I knew her. <laughs> she doesn't look strong enough. <laughs> to lift short. <laughs> Vivian. Why did you give him a girl's name? Mm -hmm. I want to know that too. Like mother, like son. Don't tell me what she's been doing for the last 10 years. Why is she dressed like, where's Wally? Oh, we're back in his head again. <laughs> Kiad. Bloody hippie food. <laughs> it's the lentil casserole. Wish you see I look at life like this. And what does that do? I had a heavy bust up this morning with my lady. Got four because I remember it. It's a round one like that. Has he got a tail? Yeah. It's a cue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say to my youngest. <laughs> I reckon if I played my cards right, I could have. Who uh, yeah. doing the groin? What? Got your leg over? Slept with her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Watch my chicken you bastards! I'll kill you! Brilliant! Eh? You've chopped off the wrong one. Wrong finger. <laughs> <laughs> He's acting like he just stubbed his toe. <laughs> I think you cut off one of your fingers. <laughs> All a student needs to qualify for an increased grant is a, a numkal pukajul fatumuch. What? What's a fatumuch? A fatumuch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's him! That was his name. Fatumuch. Doesn't seem to make any sense. Neil? Have you just farted? There's <laughs> <laughs> a horrible farty smell in here and it's definitely not from my bottom. <laughs> this is worse than cow's business. <laughs> <laughs> Was it you that farted, Mike? <laughs> I love a fart joke. Oh, look, a little girl. Oh, look, girl. Meditate on this. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a great idea. Uh huh. Why don't we go and see a film? Hey, Rick. Yes? I'm just going down the local paper shop, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember ramming a skewer into my head. That's something you would do though. I don't believe it. No brains. Oh my god, that was hilarious. You've won a new Ford Tipex. Come in for touch. Your time is up. What a boring day. Oh, you're not going to know that the car is yours then. Why don't we try going into college? <laughs> oh, if he's never been before. Things may be bad, but there's no need to panic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just going to treat this problem like my mattress and sleep on it. He's not got class at all, then. Who's been gobbing in my lentil? Look at the baby one with the big nappy on. Let's go to McDonald's. Yes! Good idea. Oh, look, Neil. They're about to take you home. 
So we've established that that's just pure madness, yeah? Every episode must be pure madness. I don't know who thinks of these things, but I like it. It makes what goes on in my head just like a little less crazy and I feel a bit more normal. You probably know by now, but anything with a fart joke or a poop joke just gets me every single time. And I really love Rick. I just think he's brilliant. He's the best. I actually thought that episode was off to a slow start and then it picked up pretty quickly. So it was all good. And I'm awake. Go watch the next episode like right now. So if you like that video, then please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning on staying, then please subscribe. I want you to. I also want you to head over to Patreon and just have a look. You don't have to stay. I'm not going to force you to stay. There's lots of good things over there. I don't think I've asked this yet, so you can tell me now what is your favourite The Young Ones episode so I know to look out for the good ones. And not that they're not good, but the good, good, gooder ones. The gooder ones. And I'm going to go. Thank you again so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.